Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the primary flight display. First, let's see what is a primary flight display or PFD. A PFD is one of the displays in the cockpit. Inside the cockpit, if we have a normal display configuration, the outermost display is the PFD. There are two PFDs, one for the captain and one for the first officer. The PFD may be of CRT or LCD type of display. The details on the PFD changes with different manufacturers. So we will look in general how information is presented on the PFD. Let's look at what information is shown on the PFD. The PFD combines information of six different flight instruments into a single display. These six instruments are altimeter, edge speed indicator, vertical speed indicator, attitude indicator, heading indicator, and the turn coordinator. Let's see how information is presented on the PFD. At the center of the PFD, we have the attitude indicator. On the indicator, these symbols represent the aircraft. The attitude indicator gives information regarding pitch, roll, and the orientation of the aircraft. These numbers represent the angle of pitch of the aircraft. A pitch up of the aircraft will be shown like this. A pitch down of the aircraft will be shown like this. A roll towards the left will be shown like this. A roll towards the right will be shown like this. This symbol moves along a scale which gives us the bank angle. If we look at the symbol in detail, this triangle points towards the bank angle on the scale. The trapezoid below it represents the aircraft's side slip. This means that the aircraft is side slipping towards the right. This means that the aircraft is side slipping towards the left. The attitude indicator may also have flight directors. The horizontal line of the flight director gives the amount of pitch that the aircraft has to follow. The vertical line of the flight director gives the amount of roll that the aircraft has to follow. These flight directors mean that the aircraft needs to pitch up and roll towards the left. These flight directors mean that the aircraft needs to pitch down and roll towards the right. Towards the left of the PFD, we have the speed scale which indicates the aircraft's speed. This indicates the aircraft's current speed. On the speed scale, as the speed increases, the speed tape moves down. When the speed decreases, the speed tape moves up. The speed scale could also include a speed trend arrow which gives an idea on what speed the aircraft will reach after a few seconds. If it points upward, it means that the aircraft is accelerating. If it points downward, it means that the aircraft is decelerating. Towards the right of the attitude indicator, we have the altimeter which gives the aircraft's altitude. This represents the aircraft's current altitude. As the altitude increases, the altitude tape rolls down. As the altitude decreases, the altitude tape will roll up. On the right of the altimeter, we have the vertical speed scale, which indicates the rate at which the aircraft is climbing or descending. This represents the current vertical speed. The scale has to be read in thousands of feet per minute. If the pointer points upward, it means that the aircraft is climbing in this much feet per minute. If the pointer points downward, it means that the aircraft is descending in this much feet per minute. At the bottom of the PFD, we have the horizontal situation indicator. This gives us the heading of the aircraft. This arrow represents the current heading. As the aircraft turns, its heading will be shown here. This basically acts like a digital compass on the aircraft. At the top of the PFD, we have the flight mode annunciator or the FMA. The FMA gives several information to the pilots such as the status of the autopilots, status of the auto thrust, engagement mode of the lateral navigation and the engagement mode of the vertical navigation. This information are very important to the pilot as they give a complete idea on how the aircraft is being flown and managed. From where does the PFD get all this information? 
The PFD is not directly connected to any sensor or any air-based systems. The sensors and the air-based systems are connected to an air data computer which gives the information that needs to be displayed on the PFD. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos.